Uh, afternoon guys, just a quick one to clear some uh, bits up about the long wire. The uh, LDG Ballon 4 to 1 has got two sides to it here. This side, is, which is more of the Kevlar wire, but this goes down to my earth spike and my counterpoise array, which run across, these, run across the garden all at quarter wavelengths. Uh, a slightly different, uh, I've just changed this again. This is this. I've made it so it's got a bullet connector. So basically, if anything does go badly wrong and this wire does fly out this window for any distance, it's not going to pull the uh, ballon with it, which is then connected to my Powerstar AT2K, which I don't want to go out the window, which is then connected to my Arcom 7400, which I do not want to go out the window, <laughs> which is then uh, hooked onto my shack, so I don't want it to pull the shack out the window. So. A bit of exaggeration there, but this is a good way of, of stopping that from happening, not to worry about it. Anyway, this has been rerouted again, yet again. This is this is the finest uh, reincarnation of the long wire. And you might wonder why these are here. These are the standard markers that you get on this Kevlar wire to mark it off as meters. But I use it for, imagine the, the water is coming down here, and without these on there, it just runs straight down and onto this surface here. As I learnt, <clears throat> as I learnt, the first time it ever rained. So, good way of recycling those things. They stop the, the rain from getting in. Anyway, the new, the new uh, travel of it. It goes straight over the top of this tree to the corner, which I'll go down and show you in a minute. And it goes right the way across the top of that tree. I don't know if you can quite see that. Well, there you go. You can just make it out up to the highest point over there. It's uh, definitely the highest it's been and the straightest it's been. The receiver's improved and from my reports the TX is also improved. So let's go downstairs and show you the, uh, the, the main route. As you can see, out of the shack window, straight over this big tree. Now it goes. Can you see it go across there? Now it goes to the top of this tree. And if you can see it there, that goes all the way along there to the top of that tree. Uh, the previous incarnation of this wire was, it came, uh, if you remember, I used this insulator. There we go, I used an insulator to pull the wire up the tree. It did uh, insulate it from the tree, but I don't think it made that much of a difference, to be honest. I haven't noticed a difference, or well, perhaps it's an improvement because of the height I, have, uh, I haven't lost. You can hear the peacocks. Um, yeah, so that goes, uh, Strike off the top of that tree, you're trying to focus, there we go, to this point over there. It's about 80 metres long, getting on for 85 maybe, it was originally 50 metres long, and I added enough to make it so it would work on A2 without an ATU, but I ended up uh, adding just a little bit more to make it easier on, for some reason, 20 and 17, but there we go, that is... M0 VSTs of working uh, conditions at the moment. That's my that's my antenna for 160, uh, all the way up to six. Other than the uh, the six metre spike on the end of the, uh, the collinear. So there we go. That concludes the uh, the long wire tour. Thanks very much for much for watching.